Erica Nutt, Wikipedia article audio. The Erica Nutt is the fruit of the Erica palm, which grows in much of the tropical Pacific, Southeast and South Asia, and parts of East Africa. This fruit is commonly referred to as beetle nut so it is easily confused with beetle leaves that are often used to wrap it. The term Erika originated from the Malayalam word Adaka and dates from the 16th century, when Dutch and Portuguese sailors took the nut from Kerala to Europe. Consumption has many harmful effects on health and is carcinogenic to humans. Various compounds present in the nut, including Ericaline, contribute to histologic changes in the oral mucosa. It is known to be a major risk factor for cancers of the mouth and esophagus. As with chewing tobacco, its use is discouraged by preventive efforts. Consumption by hundreds of millions of people worldwide mainly with southern and eastern Asian origins has been described as a neglected global public health emergency. The Erica nut is not a true nut, but rather a fruit categorized as a berry. It is commercially available in dried, cured, and fresh forms. When the husk of the fresh fruit is green, the nut inside is soft enough to be cut with a typical knife. In the ripe fruit, the husk becomes yellow or orange, and as it dries, the fruit inside hardens to a wood-like consistency. At that stage, the Erica nut can only be sliced using a special scissors-like cutter. Description Tradition Usually for chewing, a few slices of the nut are wrapped in a beetle leaf along with calcium hydroxide and may include clove, cardamom, catechu, or other spices for extra flavoring. Beetle leaf has a fresh, peppery taste, but it can also be bitter to varying degrees depending on the variety. Arica nuts are chewed with beetle leaf for their effects as a mild stimulant, causing a warming sensation in the body and slightly heightened alertness, although the effects vary from person to person. The Arica nut contains the tannins Arica tannin and gallic acid, a fixed oil gum, a little terpineol, lignin, various saline substances, and three main alkaloids aricaline, aricadine, and guvacin all of which have vasoconstricting properties. The beetle leaf chewed along with the nut contains eugenol, another vasoconstrictor. Tobacco leaf is often added to the mixture, thereby adding the effect of nicotine. In parts of India, Sri Lanka, and southern China, arica nuts are not only chewed along with beetle leaf, but are also used in the preparation of Ayurvedic and traditional Chinese medicines. Powdered Arica nut is used as a constituent in some dentifrices. Other traditional uses include the removal of tapeworms and other intestinal parasites by swallowing a few teaspoons of powdered Arica nut, drunk as a decoction, or by taking tablets containing the extracted alkaloids. According to traditional Ayurvedic medicine, chewing arica nut and beetle leaf is a good remedy against bad breath. Diplomat Edmund Roberts noted that Chinese people would mix arica nut with Uncaria gambir during his visit to China in the 1830s. After chewing a beetle nut, the red residue is generally spat out and is considered an eyesore. This has led many places to ban chewing this nut. Chewing the mixture of arica nut and beetle leaf is a tradition, custom, or ritual which dates back thousands of years in much of the geographical areas from South Asia eastward to the Pacific. It constitutes an important and popular cultural activity in many Asian and Oceanic countries, including Pakistan, the Maldives, India, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Bhutan, Bangladesh. Burma, China, Laos, Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, Cambodia, Vietnam, Taiwan, the Philippines, Palau, Yap, Guam, 
Papua New Guinea, the Solomon Islands, and Vanuatu. How or when the arica nut and the beetle leaf were first combined into one psychoactive drug is not known. Archaeological evidence from Thailand, Indonesia, and the Philippines suggests they have been used in tandem for at least 4,000 years. Effects on Health In Vietnam, the arica nut and the beetle leaf are such important symbols of love and marriage that in Vietnamese the phrase matters of beetle and arica is synonymous with marriage. The tradition of chewing arica nuts starts the talk between the groom's parents and the bride's parents about the young couple's marriage. Therefore, the leaves and juices are used ceremonially in Vietnamese weddings. The folk tale explaining the origin of this Vietnamese tradition is a good illustration of the belief that the combination of arica nut and the beetle leaf is ideal to the point they are practically inseparable like an idealized married couple. Malay culture and tradition hold betel nut and leaves in high esteem. Traditionally, guests who visit a Malay house are presented with a tray of arica nuts and betel leaves, in much the same way as drinks are offered to guests in many cultures around the world. There is even a Malay proverb about the betel nut, Bagaikan Pinang Di Bella Dua, loosely translated like a beetle nut cut in two, referring to the similarity of two persons such as twins or siblings, because the two halves of the cut beetle nut are very similar to each other. During Pregnancy In the Indian subcontinent, the chewing of beetle and arica nut dates back to the pre-Vedic period Harappan Empire. Formerly, in both India and Sri Lanka, it was a custom of the royalty to chew arica nut with beetle leaf. Kings had special attendants whose duty it was to carry a box with all the necessary ingredients for a good chewing session. There was also a custom for lovers to chew arica nut and beetle leaf together, because of its breath freshening and relaxant properties. A sexual symbolism thus became attached to the chewing of the nut and the leaf. The arica nut represented the male principle, and the beetle leaf the female principle. Considered an auspicious ingredient in Hinduism and some schools of Buddhism, the arica nut is still used along with beetle leaf in religious ceremonies, and also while honoring individuals in much of Southern Asia. In Assam, it is a tradition to offer pantomol to guests, after tea, or meals, served in a brass plate with stands called boda. Among the Assamese, the arica nut also has a variety of uses during religious and marriage ceremonies, where it has the role of a fertility symbol. A tradition from Upper Assam is to invite guests to wedding receptions by offering a few arica nuts with beetle leaves. During Baihu, the Husari players are offered arica nuts and beetle leaves by each household while their blessings are solicited. Spanish mariner Alvaro de Mendana reported observing Solomon Icelanders chewing the nut and the leaf with caustic lime, and the manner in which the habit stained their mouths red. He noted the friendly and genial chief Malope, on Santa Isabel Island, would offer him the combination as a token of friendship every time they met. Modern Day Consumption In Bhutan, the arica nut is called doma. The raw arica nut, which is soft and moist, is very potent and when chewed can cause palpitation and vasoconstricting. This form is eaten in the lower regions of Bhutan and in North Bengal where the nut is cut into half and put into a local pawn leaf with a generous amount of lime. In the rest of Bhutan the raw nut, with the husk on, is fermented such that the husk rots and is easy to extract. The fermented doma has a putrid odor, which can be smelled from miles. Traditionally, this fragrant nut is cut in half and placed on top of a cone made of local beetle leaf which has a dash of lime put into it. Myth has it that the inhabitants of Bhutan traditionally known as Manyul, 
the land of Monpas where Buddhism did not reach lived on raw flesh, drank blood, and chewed bones. After the arrival of Guru Rinpoche in the 8th century, he stopped the people from eating flesh and drinking blood and created a substitute which is betel leaf, lime, and arica nut. Today, chewing doma has become a custom. Doma is served after meals, during rituals, and ceremonies. It is offered to friends and is chewed at workplaces by all sections of the society and has become an essential part of Bhutanese life and culture. Vernacular Names The addition of tobacco leaf to the chewing mixture is a relatively recent innovation, as tobacco was not introduced from the American continent until the colonial era. Habitual chewers of betel leaf and arica nut have a greatly increased risk of developing a range of serious diseases, including cancers of the mouth and esophagus. It has many systemic effects. Chewing arica nut alone has been linked to oral submucosal fibrosis. According to Medline Plus, long-term use has been associated with oral submucosal fibrosis precancerous oral lesions and squamous cell carcinoma. Acute effects of betel chewing include asthma exacerbation, hypertension, and tachycardia. There may additionally be a higher risk of cancers of the liver, mouth, esophagus, stomach, prostate, cervix, and lung with regular betel use. Other effects can include a possible effect on blood sugar levels which may in turn increase the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Use of arica nut has been associated with deterioration of psychosis in people with pre-existing psychiatric disorders. Arica nut consumption is also tied to chronic kidney disease in men. In 2003 the International Agency for Research on Cancer, a World Health Organization-sponsored group, found sufficient evidence that the habit of chewing betel quid, with or without tobacco, causes cancer in humans. Support for this conclusion is provided by a recent study which found that PON, even without concurrent tobacco use, is a risk factor for oral cancer. In October, 2009, 30 scientists from 10 countries met at IARC to reassess the carcinogenicity of various agents including arica nut, and mechanisms of carcinogenesis. They confirmed there is sufficient evidence that arica nut, with or without tobacco, can cause cancer. The harm caused by consumption of betel quid or arica nut by hundreds of millions of people worldwide has been characterized as a neglected global public health emergency. Chewing pawn during pregnancy significantly increases adverse outcomes for the baby. The habit is associated with higher incidences of preterm birth and low birth weight and height. Biologically, these effects may be a consequence of the aricaline that is found in arica nuts. The habit also exposes the fetus to various other toxic components linked to cancer. It's also used in female reproductive system disorders. In India and Pakistan, the preparation of nut with or without betel leaf is commonly referred to as pawn. It is available practically everywhere and is sold in ready-to-chew pouches called pan masala or supri, as a mixture of many flavors whose primary base is arica nut crushed into small pieces. Poor people, who may eat only every other day, use it to stave off hunger pangs. Pan masala with a small quantity of tobacco is called gutka. The easily discarded Small plastic supri or gutka pouches are an ubiquitous pollutant of the South Asian environment. Some of the liquid in the mouth is usually disposed of by spitting, producing bright red spots wherever the expectorate lands. In the Maldives, arica nut chewing is very popular, but spitting is frowned upon and regarded as an unrefined, repulsive way of chewing. 
Usually, people prefer to chew thin slices of the dry nut, which is sometimes roasted. Keely, a mixture of arica nut, beetle, cloves, cardamom and sugar is sold in small homemade paper pouches. Old people who have lost their teeth keep chewing by pounding the mixture of arica nut and beetle with a small mortar and pestle. In Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands, fresh arica nut, beetle leaf or fruit leaf and lime are sold on street corners. In these countries, dried or flavored arica nut is not popular. Beetle nuts there are referred to in Tok Pisin as bue. There has recently been a controversial ban on selling and chewing betel nut in public places Port Moresby. Because of this, many people have tried to smuggle betel nut into Port Moresby. Notably, there was a raid in Hanuabada in May 2015 where several bags of betel nut were confiscated, the total value of the confiscated nut sacks exceeding $180,000 USD. Arica nut chewing has recently been introduced into Vanuatu, where it is growing in popularity, especially in the northern islands of the country. In Guam and the neighboring northern Mariana Islands, beetle and arica nut chewing is a social pastime as a means to extend friendship, and can be found in many, if not most, large gatherings as part of the food display. In Palau, Beetle nut is chewed with lime, piper leaf, and nowadays, with the addition of tobacco. Older and younger generations alike enjoy the use of beetle nut, which is readily available at stores and markets. Unlike in Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands, where the inner arica nut is used, in Palau, the arica nut skin is chewed along with lime, leaf, and tobacco and the juice is not swallowed but spat out. In Taiwan, bags of 20 to 40 arica nuts are purchased fresh daily by a large number of consumers. To meet the steady year-round demand, two kinds of betel nut shops sell betel and nuts, as well as cigarettes and drinks, including beer small mom and pop shops, often poorly maintained and with unassuming facades, and shops which will often consist of nothing more than a single, freestanding room, or booth. The latter is usually elevated one meter above the street, and measures less than 3 by 2 m. Large picture windows comprise two or more of the walls, allowing those who pass by a complete view of the interior. The interior is often painted brightly. Within such a shop, a sexily dressed young woman, a beetle nut beauty, can be seen preparing beetle and arica nuts. Shops are often identified by multicolored fluorescent tubes or neon lights that frame the windows or that are arranged radially above a store. Customers stop on the side of the road and wait for the girls to bring their beetle and arica nut to their vehicles. The habit of chewing beetle nut is often associated with blue-collar labor industries such as long-haul transportation, construction, or fishing. Workers in these labor-intensive industries use beetle nut for its stimulating effect, but it also becomes a tool for socializing with co-workers. For example, studies have shown chewing betel nut is prevalent among taxi, bus, and truck drivers, who rely on the stimulating effect of betel nut to cope with long work hours. For these reasons, oral cancer has been identified as a leading cause of death in professions with high betel nut chewing rates. In Hainan and Hunan Province, China, where Xiongtan is a center of use and processing, a wide range of old and young people consume arica nut daily. Most, though, consume the dried variety of the nut by itself, without the beetle leaves. Some people also consume the arica nut in its raw, fresh form with or without the beetle leaves. Beetle nuts are sold mostly by old women walking around trying to sell it 
but the dried version can be found in most shops which sell tea, alcohol, and cigarettes. In Thailand, the consumption of arica nut has declined gradually in the last decades. The younger generation rarely chews the substance, especially in the cities. Most of the present-day consumption is confined to older generations, mostly people above 50. Even so, small trays of beetle leaves and sliced tender arica nut are sold in markets and used as offerings in Buddhist shrines. In the Philippines, chewing the arica nut and beetle leaf was a very widespread tradition in the past. Now, though, this tradition is almost dead among the urban people in the cities and big towns, and has largely been replaced by gum and tobacco. Nowadays, older people are the only ones chewing beetle nuts. But in rural areas, beetle nut chewing is very much alive. In the United States, arica nut is not a controlled or specially taxed substance and may be found in some Asian grocery stores. However, importation of arica nut in a form other than whole or carved kernels of nuts can be stopped at the discretion of U.S. Customs officers on the grounds of food, agricultural, or medicinal drug violations. Such actions by customs are very rare. In the United Kingdom, arica nut is readily available in Asian grocery stores and even in shredded forms from the world food aisles of larger Tesco supermarkets. Possession of beetle nut or leaf is banned in the UAE and is a punishable offense. Places such as Guwahati in Assam, Penang in Malaysia, Ko Mac in Thailand and Fua Malaku in Maldives have been named after the Erika Nut. <laughs>